Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to Bookmas. And today I am extremely excited to have a cozy night in. This was like the perfect day to actually do this cozy night in because it finally started snowing for the first time in Columbus. It's still not a lot, but it's our first snow that's actually sticking to the ground. And literally five minutes ago, one of our good friends who is a superb baker, she is gluten-free. I am also 99% gluten-free and she makes the best gluten-free cookies and she just dropped off a beautiful tin of a wide variety so I will definitely be enjoying one or two of those tonight. Right now it's about 4 45 and I am just finishing up some editing as the last bits of daylight hang on for dear life but my sister is actually home from school. She was just recently in my book loft video but she is gonna come over and just have a cozy night in with me and my husband. I have a really cute little Christmas puzzle that I've been wanting to do so I think this is is a great night to do it. We'll probably also do a little Christmas Q&A just for fun so we can learn more about each other's favorite things and hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well. And then we are going to watch The Holiday which is one of my favorite movies and I haven't watched it yet this season. But I've got my beautiful poinsettia right here, I've got a candle, and the scent is literally feeling cozy. I got it from Hobby Lobby. They have some really good well-priced candles. And you can't really tell but I'm looking out at a beautiful snow dusted backyard so it's definitely a great start to the evening. So I don't know what we'll get up to first but I will check in with you as soon as we do something cozy. Okay just kidding, it's literally like two minutes later. Now that I've started this vlog, I don't really want to do any more work for the day and it's been a busy day. So even though it is not yet even dinner time, I'm going to have my dessert before my dinner because I am so eager to try one of these delicious cookies. So as you can see, we have a beautiful Christmas variety and this is so exciting because I literally have not done like any baking this year yet. I'll probably do a whole other vlog where I'm kind of like prepping for our Christmas lunch. I think we're gonna do like a big Christmas lunch this year. So I'm probably gonna make some cookies and pepperoni rolls and things like that. But for now, I am just so grateful that somebody thought of us and brought these cookies over. But I think I am going to try one of these because they just look so cute. And then I also have this almond milk eggnog. For me, I just like to have like one container of the almond milk eggnog every season. I think it does go so well with a dessert and it's just something different that I really never have any other time of the year. So I'm just gonna pour myself a little glass of the eggnog and I think I'm actually going to just cozy up with maybe a short story book. I'm actually in the middle of another book. I'm reading The Abominables by Eva Ebitson. I think that's how you say her name. It's a really cute middle grade story about yetis traveling across the world to get to their forever home. But I have like three Christmas short story books that I haven't started yet. So I think I just wanna read one of those tonight maybe. All right, so I've got my eggnog, I've got my little cookie, and let's do a first taste test. Very, very good, as expected. This chick is seriously such a good baker. I think she's thinking about starting a baking TikTok or something like that. Honestly, she could have a whole side business because I have bought from other gluten-free bakers who kind of just do it as a side hustle. And my friend Alex is honestly a lot better than these people. And she's really good at like decorating cakes and things like that. So again, I just feel so grateful that she brought us over this tin of cookies. And it tastes so good with that eggnog afterward. I can't think what the flavor of this cookie is. It's kind of like the flavor of a pizzelle, but very, very delicious. And as you can see, my little puppy dog Bernard has joined us because he's always where the food is. But I'm thinking that the book I'm gonna read, or at least part of the book that I'm gonna read today is Festive Spirits by Kate Atkinson. She is one of my favorite authors. And I picked this book up last year when I saw that she had this collection and I just never got around to it. So my sister, she'll probably be here in about a half an hour or so. So I might literally be able to get through this entire thing. It's only about 55 pages in total, or at least I will be able to get through a couple of these short stories. I'm putting the blanket on for the vibes, but honestly, it is very toasty in our house.
What's your favorite Christmas tradition? <laughs> My favorite Christmas tradition. <laughs> I love spending time with family. That's not a tradition. That's just like... <laughs> It's just like something you do. <laughs> Some people don't, maybe. Well, yeah, I know, but like. Okay, continue. You can well, this tradition. this year we're not doing Sorry. it, but usually we would go to my uncle's house and do Christmas Eve at his house. So I like spending time with family <laughs> at Uncle Justin's house. Okay, that's a tradition. What's your <laughs> What's your favorite tradition? Mm. Presents. <laughs> um, my favorite tradition is cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning. When has that ever happened? We do that like every year. Do you have a favorite holiday snack? <laughs> I already talked about mine in this video. Well, I, I don't know if it's my favorite, but I... Enjoy a good almond milk eggnog because it's so rare. No, uh, try the almond milk. I have some in the fridge. Okay. It's like way less eggy than normal eggnog. I just feel like it, kinda, I can't it almost tastes do like a rich like a, milk. A heavy dairy. Situation. It doesn't feel like that though. Just okay. just try it. Um, okay. I like peppermint bark. I feel like Christmas is a time for various popcorns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very pro popcorn. <laughs> I'm pro popcorn as well. <laughs> like, I feel like that's whenever... It doesn't even... Oh, you know what popcorn is fantastic? Have you ever had the, like, chocolate drizzle with peppermint popcorn? See, I'm I'm more of a savory person. I used to be... I no, used to I know, but it's a, too, it's, a, it's a nice marriage of the sweet and yeah. savory. But I feel like people just ball out with different types of popcorn. Like, that's when you're yeah. getting your... Yeah. That's when the Boy Scouts should come around, yeah. really. Out in the snow. Because I feel Forget like you get a lot trees. of, like... Because, like, Dad would get, like, gift baskets and stuff sent to him from people from work. They always oh, yeah. come with variety popcorn. What's one dish you can't do without on your Christmas dinner table? Probably a mashed potato. Yeah. Always. I love a good ham. Because that's another food that, like, you don't just, like, have ham yeah um, like on a normal tuesday what's your earliest christmas memory that's a tough one because they all kind of blended together i do not recall <laughs> i think i was thinking of a christmas memory but then yeah, i realized I it was actually a birthday memory we got um my childhood dog ike who's the same kind of dog as my current dog bernard an airedale terrier we got him for christmas one year from our grandparents but i don't really like remember that I just remember having him when I was young, but I'm sure that was very exciting when we got him. But we just used to always have our Christmases at my grandparents' house, so they, yeah, it was very positive, very happy. I just can't quite remember like a specific memory. I just have the worst memory. Of yeah, I genuinely do. Do you wrap your presents or put them in gift bags? That's silly. I do both. Yeah. Depends on the gift, of course. Present to present. Yeah, if it's like a box, I'm going to wrap it. But <laughs> <laughs> if it's something very difficult, I'm going to put it in a bag. But you wrap early, so you never have like yeah, desperate, yeah. <laughs> like, I need to throw this in a bag because we're opening presents in 10 minutes. <laughs> no, I like to decorate early because I like to have them under the tree because the tree just looks a little sad without them. That's true. On Is it. Die Hard a Christmas movie? Never seen it. Never seen it. Never seen it. Maybe this is the year. That's just not really the kind of movie that I feel like watching this time of year. There's just so many Christmas movies. It's it's hard to like add so many more each year. What's your gift giving process? I don't quite understand the question. Mm. Like how if do you, you decide? Wanna find a really great gift and you're like, I don't know where to start at all. Watch this video by Van Neistat. She'll have it linked below. Okay, <laughs> I will. It is I'll a, watch it. It's a fantastic video on like, if you're like, I literally, I don't know where to start at all. I don't know the basic process of how to give a really good gift. He that's, is, that's interesting because I would never think to like make a video like that or, well, or you, watch a video like that. You gotta watch Van Neistat. Van Neistat's actually really good. What kind of videos do they make? 
Um, he makes... He's Casey Neistat's brother. Oh, okay. Um, he makes a lot of, like, tutorial-esque videos, but, like, not, a, like, to, sometimes it's tutorials of how to do things, but it's, like, of how he, like, approaches certain projects or life situations. I feel like it's a very, like, I think he's got a very strong male audience, but I, as a yeah. female viewer, really enjoy it as well. And I think it's filmed, like, in an entertaining way. Yeah. So check him out. Like, how old is he? He's, like, in his... 40s, I'd say, probably. Yeah. He's got, like, kids. Yeah, I love um, just going on Etsy, looking around, thinking about what the person, what their hobbies are, I guess, and thinking about what they probably wouldn't give themselves. Mm-hmm. Big time. But I enjoy that. I really enjoy just, like, spending a lot of time looking around for gifts. And I know other people don't, so that video is probably very good for that. Yeah. I also keep, if I, like, know I have to give a certain person a certain gift at some point in time, if I, like, hear something that they say where they're, like, I want this, but I'm not going to buy it, yeah. or, like, just get an idea, I have, like, a notes app for the person. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or I just keep a running list. I actually have one of your birthday presents already. Wow. Because <laughs> I just saw it, and I was, like... There yeah, might as well. Her birthday's in October. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween. If you had to travel for the holidays, where would you want to go? My house. <laughs> <laughs> you had to travel. A hotel near my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that actually sounds nice. I just don't that want should to, be a new tradition. I just like, don't want to go. December 26th, you just like go to a hotel by your house and just like sit and read all day. That sounds wonderful. Just sit and read. Do that I would prefer I like an Airbnb. Yeah. That's a new thing. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have done this yet. But like I saw one of my kind of acquaintance friends, she just had her birthday and she just had like five of her closest friends just come to the house and they just like sat around and read. Like that's a good birthday party. <laughs> you just sit around and read. I have never heard of that once in my life. No, it's like it's becoming a thing with the book girlies. That's kind of interesting. Like, I would like, like, it's like is, I want to be there, with you, but like, we're designated just gonna... times to talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, they went kayaking and stuff, and I'm sure they like made their dinners together and whatever. But like, for several hours at least during the day, they just were in the same room reading. Yeah. I yeah. guess that's like a library <laughs> for Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Have you ever had a white Christmas? <laughs> We live in Ohio. We live in Ohio. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have had a white Christmas. It's white outside and it's not a Christmas. Correct. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to snow at all, actually, until January after Christmas because we're supposed to have a warmer than normal winter. But thankfully, our winters are not actually terrible here. Like, we get, I'd say, three solid snows, sometimes more depending on the year. But more than snow, we just get, it like, really cold. Sometimes it can be very often below freezing which is yeah. not fun if you had to travel for the holiday stuff where would you go i would like to say somewhere warm but i think that that would just be kind of weird almost. yeah kind yeah. of put the vibes off so i guess like i would want to go like somewhere snowy and mountainous yeah in, like, like almost the cool, extreme like a cool cabin or something like if you're like, like new england would be cool in winter i would go to like Colorado mountains or like Montana or something. The mountains of South or North Carolina. Yeah. It gets snowy up there. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Just I would drive do that. three hours west and experience the snow. Do you want to be in the video? No. What's the best outdoor snow activity? I think snow tubing. I like to snow tube. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about this. <laughs> we were just talking about this. Um, because I don't want to do the effort of skiing. I just don't think I'm ever going to really learn how to do that that well. But I like to slide down the hill on the tube. <laughs> well, I feel like, I don't know. I think skiing is something I'd like to get better at because I'm like, I've skied enough that I feel like I know what it feels like almost a couple yeah, of times yeah. to like not have to think so much while you're doing it. And if you don't have to think that much because you like know what you're doing... It'll be awesome. Yeah. That's then you, true. Can, I just don't want, I like, the hassle of getting all your stuff on and, like, going out in the cold. But I'm sure once you're out there, it'd be a lot of fun. Well, I wouldn't like to ski in Ohio where it's, like, dark cold. Like, I would want to ski somewhere where it's 
um, cold but sunny. Like yeah, like Colorado. Yeah. If you were an elf, what would your elf name be? <laughs> Snowball. Snowball. That's pretty good. That just makes me think of Stuart Little. Did yeah, you ever watch that? Oh, that's true. That's kind of an old movie now, which is crazy. Because I watched that a lot when I was a kid, but... I watched that um, a lot. Yeah, the cat's name is Snowball. Um, what would mine be? It would have to be something with an A. Antler. <laughs> Antler. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Comment down below, what would your elf name be? It seems like one of those things that's like, if you were born on this day, and you're like yeah. this, like, this is what your name would be. I feel like there's definitely a test. I, yeah, if there, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna see what my elf name would be according to like BuzzFeed or something. Which is probably aging me because do people even do BuzzFeed anymore? It's know. very millennial. What's the worst Christmas present you've ever received? Yikes. I That's could right. not even say. I don't even know. I don't know either. I feel like I've never had anything like that. Yeah, I know. Like, that I would be like, wow, this sucks. Yeah. I don't know where it cut off, but we were discussing our favorite. Christmas flavor. Steph's is peppermint, and I think mine is cinnamon. <laughs> I think. I like a gingerbread. Not straight ginger. You like eggnog, apparently. I do, but I wouldn't say it's like my favorite. I just appreciate it this time of year. Sure. <laughs> just the way some of these are worded. Do you have a holiday hack that helps you get through the season? Share it with the group. <laughs> What's your holiday hack? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. How do you handle the stress? I'm out of school. Like I know. <laughs> I I am not someone that really gets stressed out. Obviously, I am not like hosting 50 people at my house or yeah. anything like that. But I I genuinely really enjoy the holidays and like finding gifts for people and baking. Like that doesn't really stress me out. But I can understand for sure why it would stress certain people out depending on your situation. Right. But I don't know. To me, it's like it's a very joyful time of year. I feel like people are generally happier and more kind like in stores and things generally. So I really enjoy that. And all the movies are so positive and everyone's so wholesome. <laughs> Maybe not in Die Hard, I don't know. Where is the best place to see Christmas lights? Ever. Ever. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm always... We would always... Well, maybe this is one of my favorite Christmas traditions. Is that sometimes we would, like, go to Tim Hortons and get a hot chocolate and just drive around a bunch of neighborhoods. Yeah, and I yeah, think that's for really sure. fun. There's some really nice towns around where we live, some big houses. And, yeah, some of those people... I'm sure they hire people, but they go very hard with the lights, so that's very fun. We, we should do that. We haven't really done that this year. Yeah. Or sometimes you see people who just, like, you're like, this is a DIY project, but you are, yeah, this is a passionate it. DIY project. Yeah. If you, like, live around Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, I would definitely recommend going to Ogle Bay if you've never been. Because for me, like, that's a very positive memory from when I was a kid. Like, those lights just seemed crazy, and there's a zoo, and there's a house you can tour. So it's a really good place to visit. I will say I had not gone for many, many, many years, and I went last year, and it was not as amazing as I remembered, but I was probably, like, six <laughs> when I went. So I feel like that's the cool thing about having kids. It's like you get to relive that, like genuine Christmas joy when you have kids. That's true. Zoo lights are also good. Yeah, we have a really good zoo. The Columbus Zoo is exceptional. I think it's always either number one or two in the country, so we're very spoiled here, but yeah, it's it's worth coming at Christmas time because they do a really good light display. Do you prefer buying your presents in person or online? Hmm. I don't know. Depends on the present. Yeah. I, I mean, I do enjoy, like, going out and shopping. We also have a very good mall around here. That's a whole experience. It's, like, basically a town. So it's fun to do that, but I buy pretty much all of my presents online just because I think it's a lot easier to find what you're looking for. If you can do an online, like, Cyber Monday for yeah. Christmas presents, yeah, like... Yeah, always good. Always ideal. I feel like the sales were not that good this year, though. Yeah, I didn't think Because so I either. waited for a couple things, and it was, like, 5% off. And they probably jacked it up 10%. <laughs> <laughs> 
Steph, have you ever had a real Scrooge moment? <laughs> Share the story with the group. <laughs> well, you mean like where when I you hated were... Christmas and then the you ghost were... of Christmas past came, present, and then like... You know, that future. happened to me in 2015. <laughs> yeah. Really changed my life. <laughs> no, I... Well... No, we, we've been very fortunate that we haven't really had, like, very difficult family times. I can't remember a time where that, like, has happened around Christmas. That's that's always very tough. If someone you love is very, very sick or has recently passed away around the holidays, that can be very difficult. But um, we did have one great aunt that passed away, I think, pretty close to Christmas. But no one we're, like, uber close with. Yeah. I feel like there's always like Christmases where you're like, oh, yeah. this is the first one without this person. Yeah, right. And that's, that's sad. That's but, like, really tough for sure. Like th yeah. this is the first Christmas that we've had without our grandparents, and that's it's a whole um, it's a whole new thing for sure because we went to their house forever. They lived in the same house for about sixty five years. So this this has been a very different Christmas for us. Mm -hmm. But new traditions, new memories. And with that, we've sorted the puzzle pieces and not actually gotten anything done. But I think it's time for dinner. Heck yeah. We got some good soup.